Oh, 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 oh. Big stabby knife time. Oh, it's not doing the thing. Oh, it's doing the thing. Ah, oh, no! Why? I was trying to knock him over with like a like a stun by chucking enough at him. Ah. Oh. It's got more than one gravel attack. Of course, of course it'd have more than one gravel attack. Like, you know, who doesn't? Except nobody ever. He's got two grapple attacks. Really, two, two. They gave this guy two grapple attacks. He didn't need two grapple attacks. He was fine the way he was. Come on. The graphic was nice though. Put me in a little bubble. Gravity crushed me. It hurt a lot. But it looked good. I can have a cooler hat on while I'm not casting those spells anyway.
Yes! Yes! I am the king! We got him! We got him! Meteorite of Estelle! Oh my god, so cool, so cool, we got him! Oh man. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> cool. Uh, I think this, I think this gets the double thumbs up. The ultra rare double thumbs up. It's done. We win. Take that, moths. Moths everywhere. Please don't be like another moth after this moth with turbo double extra powers. <laughs> but yeah, hype train. Oh, so good. So good. And he, <laughs> this was just like, this was just like a basic mine dungeon and they just put like the end of days destroyer of worlds just in the back of some mine. <laughs> this is just like Final Fantasy VIII where the principal of the school hands you a lamp with the literal devil inside of it. He's just like, here you go. This is, you know, look after this for me. It's a lamp with the devil in it. Oh my god, that cow is spinning through out of space on that emote. That's awesome. There's no, like, teleporter out. That's what I'm noticing. Like, normally, there's a teleporter out or something. There's, like, a yellow glow in the middle. Which doesn't seem to... doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, we've seen this texture before in boss rooms. Huh. Do I not deserve a teleporter out? Oh, there it is. In this corner over here. At the beginning? Ah, he didn't. But we did it. We destroyed the boss. We got rid of one skull on the map. If I remembered to do that. And, uh, yeah. Pretty badass. We're down to 17 markers again. Come on. Who's next, you know? Who wants to feel the wrath of justice? Um, 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 probably not this giant guy. He was he was sort of horrible. Uh, I wonder if I can use the isolated divine tower yet. Just trying to remember how we got to it. Um. I think I might have been at the end of a dungeon, you know. I think it might have been at the end of this one, or this one. I might try this tower again that says that it's, you know, magically locked. I'm still kind of curious on how, how maybe this puzzle will work. Twelve thousand. We need. I think this room will uh, get me to the right amount. We'll level up. Oh, good maths. Ideas. Ideas. Tunneling under the castle. Um. No. Maybe. <laughs> um. Falling snow marks something unseen. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. This is gonna sound a bit stupid. Again. 
there's, there's the bit, right? There's there's the broken barrier, there's the kind of entrance into a side. Okay. But it looks a little bit like the archway of a bridge. And... We have a bridge that, like, basically leads to nothing on the other side. Like, what could that bridge over there be pointing at? All the other bridges in the land, you know, they, they go across to something. And across to something, because, you know, that's obviously how bridges work. But what is this supposed to do? Other than maybe connect to our mystery tower. So, okay, I got a theory, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm onto something. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense otherwise. Oh, I should have swapped back to my holy spells. Could have turn undead these guys. Okay. Doesn't look like they're looking my way anyway. Right. Bridge. Bridge, 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 bridge. But it, doesn't, it doesn't line up. So that's a bit of a shame. Um. Oh well. I'm gonna look stupid. I'm gonna look stupid. Oh! Huh? Okay. But that said, fallen snow will mark the thing. But the, there isn't any snow here. Okay. Easy does it. Oh, ooh, what was that? It's like a it's like a cloud. There. What about if I got my lamp out? Does it make it easy to see? No. There's like this There we go. You can see it kind of easily now. Just to the right of my feet, there's like a little cloud of I don't know. Something. does it. I'm walking on a fine mist. Not sure how it's supporting my weight, and it's gone. That piece of loot over there. Oh, how did I miss that? Damn. Okay. Oh, there's, there's a bit more of that fine mist. What? There was a skull? Flying out here? Oh, I could have solved this years ago if I'd seen this skull. Hey, skull. Ick. Oh, oh, there's the edge. <laughs> there's the edge. <laughs> That's where I left that. I like that. That's clever. <laughs> uh, it's like we're doing multiplayer. You left me that skull. All along to, uh, you know. Oh, I'm so hesitant about walking any further. Hap? Like, that's up there. Like, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm heading towards an invisible wall on the castle. Whoa! We got a bit of mist on the left. So, how do I know if I'm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh my god, this is like the faintest thing. Up, up, up. Oh, 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 now. It's very important that I don't uh, die here because I am not sure if I can do that again. That, that was nuts. <laughs> uh, thank you. 
Thank you very much for, um, oh, the seal on the rise has opened. Thank you very much for leaving that skull there for me. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't have like, had the confidence to go any further without you. There's a funny thing in the, the card game Slay the Spire, where because it's like a roguelike and you have to keep on going through it again, you can leave like a card for yourself. And then the next you in the in the future sees it, so you can't leave clues for yourself in the next playthrough, and it's just kind of awesome. Kind of like a cool way to do things. So Burton of the past left me a clue for Dean in the future. Damn, man. I can't believe we solved this thing. I, yeah, it said something about the falling snow, though. So I was expecting more like the Dark Souls 1 stars that keep on dropping on the invisible walkway in C's laboratory. It kind of wasn't exactly like that. Let's go up first and then head, head down. We're getting a lot done today. What's this? like a bit of um molten rock but then the molten rock's been frozen kind of cool oh my god if we can solve this puzzle we can solve any puzzle i believe in us having a fight, an honourable fight, and then he just, he just fell off. What more of this funky molten but frozen rock? It's like a big theme of this zone seems to be the giants know the fire, but it's a wintry zone once they're, you know, once Marika's come here by the look of it. Like maybe she's, she like hired the Zamor army who were always enemies of the frost giant by the look of the the, the tooltips. Maybe they froze all of this over for them. Founding rain of stars. Oh, it's legendary. And it's not like a memory stone for once. That's cool. So we got two spells recently. Founding rain of stars requires 52 intelligence. Release a downpour of star rain for a while. The eldest primeval sorcery said to have been discovered by an ancient astrologer. A sorcerer of legendary status. Summons a dark cloud of stars overhead shortly after the cloud will release a violent deluge. I love that word. Don't get to use it often enough. Of star rain. This sorcery can be cast while in motion. Charging increases potency. More damage for more charge. Thought to be the founding glintstone sorcery, the glimpse of the primeval current that the astrologer saw became real, and the stars amber rained down on this land. Um, uh, the lady, uh, Celine, or whatever her name is, the sorcerer lady, she's, she says, um, study of the crystals is like the study of, you know, magic, but the study of the amber instead was the study of the, the universe, or something. It was like a difference between studying amber versus crystals. I have to uh, remember what she says at some point. Maybe I'll look through my footage again. There was another spell that we got. We got a cool gravity one. Meteorite of Astil. One of the glintstone sorceries that manipulates gravitational forces. Summon a void that emits a hail of meteorites. Hold to continue the effect. Yeah, he was casting that at me. Manifestation of the power which Astor leveled the Eternal City. Oh, that's how he uh, made the City of Night, the City of Super Duper Extra Night. What a meanie. So what do we have next? I don't think I want to fight the, the two Godskin guys. That that didn't go well for me. Maybe I can solve this uh, tower over here. Hey! I might have had a note about this tower from a merchant. Uh, 
I remember something saying something about somebody somewhere. Oh, just wanted to get the last note. Wasn't that one? Imp shades. I think this is the note. Nothing can touch the shade of imps in the hero's graveyard. I don't really know if that's where that is. Only Rosas's light can give them form. So Rosas, I believe, is like the um the main guy of those who live in death. No, I think maybe this is just the tooltip about the um the enemies in the dungeons that are like shadow, and then you bring them into the light. So I guess Rosas is the guy that casts the the that graphical light on the floor that makes the shade imps to regular ones. Damn. I thought I had something about imps in a note, but I guess it was just that. Unless I can find something else. I don't know if I've read this one before. Crawling royal revenants and their followers are all cursed. Healing powers will harm them rather than men. Oh, you should use gravity against flying enemies. Huh. Forgot about that one. Load the capital. Yep. Set the secret. Hit the cave. And gateway. No. Maybe it's one of these little side notes. I remember getting this note from someone, but not being able to figure out what it is of. I swear this note here just doesn't really look like anything. Like the bottom half of it is just like, oh cool, so there's like this cave system. And then it leads into like a... Like a well-defined man-made structure that's that's more, you know, more of a straight line. But then the top half of the note is just like, oh yeah, so um, here's some someone casting a magical downpour of like lights. Uh, guess <laughs> it's just like it's not very helpful at all. This map, it's it's, it's just kind of useless. It says depict streaks of amber light. Well, I don't really know anywhere where there's like amber lights raining down. It's just, this is weird. Okay, let's try and solve this, this tower with the imps flying outside the front of it. And here we go. It's a marker. Those ones were fakes. So what does this say? You must solve the puzzle to enter, and it's called the Albanuric Rise. So it's the Tower of the Frogmen. Then I just, I just kind of don't get it. If I kill this imp near this imp, does it work? Does anything happen to them? No. What if I lure, like, a couple of the imps and have them come and fight near the imps' statues? So let's lure this guy and this guy. Hey guys, follow me! Imps fighting imps. Imps fighting imps. Where did the other one go? Did 
don't think the other one followed me far enough. Buddy, come on. I need you for a puzzle. Okay. Now how do I make two imps fight each other? Oh, throw a bomb at it. Maybe... Maybe that's something? So far, I'm just getting incredibly stamped, which isn't helping anybody. Man. Okay, well, maybe I just kill them while they're both here. Like, maybe I need to kill them both simultaneously. I should see if I have an imp spirit summon. That would be imps fighting imps. Oh, I do. These spirits are well suited to causing a disturbance, moving nimbly like pests and hurling magic pots. Two imps seem fond of each other's company. Maybe it could be the same soul as that other one where I think we're going to need the jellyfish. This one goes into, like, vast detail about how that probably, almost definitely, certainly is the right jellyfish. Whereas this kind of... I don't know, two imps that seem fond of each other. Are those two outside the front were fighting? Do I mirror two fighting imps with two fond imps? I'm not really sure, but I still don't know how to summon these damn things. It's always grayed out. So it could be I need the summons for, for this give up on that for now, seeing as I don't know how to summon yet. Maybe I'll try Radon at the festival. It's been a while. <laughs> 